Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Teleform, which is a found footage horror game where you and a never journalist investigate a strange tape. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? Let me move the lens cover on now. Let's do this one. There. Right, it's best to have as much material as possible. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the bun? Is there anything else I can interact with here? No, not really. Uh, let's, um, hit the fifth floor. No, man, we're going to the sixth floor. Walter lived on the sixth floor. You sure about that? Let's hurry up to the sixth floor before anyone else has the same idea. No. Nah. What are you doing? We need to get to the sixth floor. Nope. Dude, wake up. We want the sixth floor. How long will this dialogue go? If we're late, we might miss Miss Martins. Press six, man. No, man, we're going to the sixth floor. No, we're not. Okay, we've hit all the dialogue. Sixth floor. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? Let's see what happened. This one. What happened? It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What he used to, you know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it right. He gave Celso a VHS tape. The VT operator. Right. Celso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Then, bam. It happened. Oh, we're here. Come on. Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Go to the light side, head towards... Tr yeah, we gotta go towards the trash. And actually turn out to be the right way. I think it's that apartment just ahead. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. So, should I knock on the door, ring the bell? When it will look better on video? Um, ring the bell. I don't know if she's up to talking to strangers right now. This one. If she isn't, she will be now. Let me try again. Ding dong. Is she even home? What if she won't see us? If she won't see us, I'll think of something else. I doubt she's left the house since yesterday. I really have no idea what's going on. Alright, third time's a charm. Hello? Woo. What do you want? Hi, Miss Martins. We're from Channel 8. We can give you our condolences. And get a story. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. I'm a Maj. A kind of retrospective, you see? He worked at the station for so long. So he wanted to talk to you about him. About what happened. Right. Fine. Come in. Might be good to talk about. Quick finger, huh? A Maj. Why not? We can edit it later. Right now, we need the raw material. Come on, before she changes her mind. Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martins. Huh. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea. Coffee. Oh, I, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some.
What's that on the floor? She blew a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's see now when we have the chance. Make sure you get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. No, seriously, what is this down here? Oh, it's a dog. Bark. Good one. We need a nice shot of gunpowder. Walter even carried the dog's picture in his wallet. He showed it around as if it were a photo of his son. Oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? Oh, bunch of game format. Hey, the TV shot looks good. Yeah, real artsy and kino. Something funny about this TV. I think it was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Look at this headline. The tragic passing of Walter Martins. So it's made the news already. She won't have peace for a while. No. No, she won't. Look, a daily trophy. Oh, right. Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush us up. Hey, I can hear her putting the water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check it all you can now. Hmm. I remember Walter bought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right. The image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the thing. I remember he got cheated out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. Looked ridiculous in it. He paid so much for the damn coat, he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Look at these certificates. Journalism degree from U of RGS, specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Miss Martins was the same. What a waste. Is she still in there? Yeah. Okay. Give the camera on. Look around some more. A lot of books in this house. Anything interesting? Hmm. There's a book that doesn't quite fit here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. It's bookmarked on a page about the cathode ray tube, the CRT. The pages are loose. That actually is a little curious. Huh. There's a TV here. Whoa, VCR player. Fancy. They were at one time. How much is one of these going for now? Some two million cruzeros? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Coffee's almost done. Will you have fun? Yes, thank you. Be my guest. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great, we'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Ready? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. We're here with Miss Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story but how you two lived. Television seems strange. Walter dedicated a good portion of his professional life to TV. I couldn't help but to notice your television here. I... Yes. We had a blackout that day. There was a whole of lightning strike nearby. Right after the broadcast. Almost gave me a heart attack. TV hasn't working properly since then. Leave it on so the house for useless. Empty. We saw an electronics manual. Walter was an avid reader. What had he been reading these last few days? He'd walk around all the house with some manual or something in his hands. 
Electronics menu, I think. Kept missing around the VCR. I know it's because he even stopped reading the papers. Walter's raincoat. Many of Walter's things are still around here. Yes, I've been thinking about selling the apartment. Because of... everything. These things just make it all more difficult. I'm thinking of getting rid of everything. It's hell. But the paper headlines. The event has been garnering some media attention. Did this have an impact on you? I haven't slept in a while. In the morning, when I got that newspaper, there it was. The headline. Staring at me. Chasing me. But when I locked myself in here, you two arrived. So, yes, I'd say it's having quite the impact on me. Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. We were going somewhere. We were getting somewhere, see? Of course, Miss Martins. We have enough material already. He was so different. So nervous. I never expected him to... No one expected that, Miss Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The... the gun, the one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira told you back at the station, right? No, I was told you the knife to look for poison. Knife. What? How could that be? My god. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast. See? Once we start getting somewhere, the game start kicking in the, uh... The main story a bit, I think, because we were going down the right route. So I also examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned. Something like that. That wasn't the tape. Not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? You saw the original one? Yes. Here. Yeah. I don't know what he saw on this thing. I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home. When the small hours of the morning. You want to watch it, don't you? We are a show. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I... I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to heal this thing. Well, we're dead. This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? This is a smarter option. But yeah, I just gotta see what the hell's on going on here. You know, because I'm a Let's Player. I know I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. You are so gonna die. Right, let's make some room here. Alright, let's begin. Let's get my first impression on film. We can fix it all in editing later. Your first impression can be you, like, doing that ring death face where they just distort. There. I'll press play. It's starting. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. That's interesting symbols you got there. Maybe you move out of the way, I can, like, see what's going on. These symbols. I... I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? That makes my head hurt. Gives me deja vu. I know I've been here before. Really? Me too. But where would I have seen this before? Green hallway. Oh, it changed. So did, he did go inside the building. What is this place? Enhance. Prison, like a shopping mall, like a museum, like a school. I'm gonna go with this one. Are those classrooms? Why do the clothes look so much like my high school uniform? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. The tape's for you. It's customized. Look, there's someone up ahead. That guy. He looks. He looks. Don't, don't finish the tape. Did 
you get that? I'll trap the volume. No! Shipping direct control. Hey, Oscar? Is my name Oscar? I don't... I can't hear anything about Oscar. I can't understand a damn thing. I'll turn the volume one more time. Just like the old lady mentioned. We'll be right back after our dead journalists. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? Wait, deja vu! On now? Yeah, the footage might be useful. Let me get the bun. Sixth floor, apartment 608. Gotta... Gotta break the loop! You look like you've seen a ghost. You look different today. I changed my makeup. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, man! Let's get the 608 already. Head towards the window. Continue towards the window. What are you doing? How would you stop wasting your time? Can you do that, hmm? What's wrong with you? What? Ah. Huh. I... I think Walter's death got to me. I'm sorry. I get that, but try to calm down, okay? Sure, I'll try. Let's shoot this interview. The window. There's the apartment. Finally. I'll do the talking. Good evening. We're from Channel 8. We can talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I... You want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events. Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in. Might be good to speak to someone. Hey, you know, aren't you coming on a little too strong? Are you asking about the tape? There's something off here. Yeah, there is. That's what we'll find out. Come on, get in. Now nah, you stay stuck in your ghost tape loop. I'm getting out of here. We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No thanks. Well, I'll go make some anyway. The dog's standing up this time. No, let's just... Uh, God damn it. We'll have to wait for her. I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. Dog. Hey, Gunpowder. Seems a little nervous. Uneasy. Or is he afraid? Maybe the dog is separated from the loop. So many books. Hmm. Huh. There's one missing. That's gone this time. Now it's a bird. Bird. Hey, title drop. Is that a knife? Kinda weird. What this TV set gives me the creeps. I think Miss Martin's pinging this one. Hey, there's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Go there and take it off. 
What? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? So take it down. It's getting my nerves. Okay, fine. I'll take it down. There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? What do I do with this now? I don't care as long as it's away from me. Very curious. Pretty sure there was a pair of boots here when we came in. There. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes. I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? This is why you came here. Had I known, I would have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'd have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Hey, she's a widow. What's going into you? No time for this. But, fine, you're right. This whole thing's making me antsy. You know what? Why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always want to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she's up to answer some questions about the origin of this tape. Ah, there she is. Deep breaths. What's the smell? It's not the cigarette. No. Focus. If I do a good job, I can do opportunities. If the smarts feel a little better, they'll probably change nothing, but I still want to do it. I'm doing this just for myself, am I not? Miss Martins. What is it? Are you done? Not yet. Julian is watching the tape. Meanwhile, I want to ask you some questions. For your program. Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Actually, I got worried about you, ma'am. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work. Because of Walter. Because people who stop at nothing. Eh? Fine. Let's do this interview of yours. You better think carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How was Walter on that day? Normal. Just like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing. But his behavior was the same. He was uneasy, but... Never thought we'd come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it. We left a note. Only know it's minutes after it already happened. The only strange thing that day was he made a copy of the tape. Why did he make a copy? Why did we copy anything? Preserve, to share. That's what I think at least. To share. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room. Watching that thing. Makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? I wouldn't know. No. Is that why you came here? I mean, is that what the story is about? I... don't remember. Don't you think that calling of yours is... acting a little strange? I... could swear I've seen him before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working in there for long. Mm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Well, it's my job. I don't get to pick my tasks. So you chose to admit yourself, right? No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The allure of a sensationless piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape. From this whole thing. It really didn't cause any positive until now. It's precisely what we need to investigate. Do we really need to... Is it really the search for the truth that's motivating this story you're working on? Or is it something else? If it's something else, then it wouldn't be right. I, I want to know. If it is something else, then 
wouldn't be right. I'm not sure right is a concept you're looking for, or we're looking for. What I do know is that you two being here is making me apprehensive. I don't want to ignore this feeling. To be honest, I've been questioning how things have been progressing. Well, I want this story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly. Drop the camera. You serious? You can tell them the crazy old lady Claude and you. I don't care. Here, a little push out the window. Throw it! Be free! Wait, 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 wait! We'll be back after the death of our journalists! Huh? I need to reach the apartment. The apartment. What happened to our, uh, co-worker? Which apartment? 608. Yes. That was it. I had someone else with me. To... To... How could I forget her? Each that makes it harder to remember. What's going on? That tape. What I saw on it. I watched Unrecorded Nightmare. I was seen forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. Which future do I exist now? Which past did I come? The apartment. She stayed there. I had to record everything. Everything can be used. Oh no. Oh no. The sound. Do you really want to follow it? I need to think. Need to go on. Just the right way. I don't need to pay attention. Yes, I need to go on. What is this door? This is where she was. The door won't budge. But there's a grate. I need to see what's in there. Juliana. Juliana! That woman. I... I do... Do I know her? Why am I tearing up like this? It's no use. There's nothing else I can do here. Garbage! Weird smell here. What did I smell this before? The smell. It's stronger here. Smell no. Follow the smell. Is this the apartment? It smells come from inside the apartment. Oh. I don't know what it is. The smell. It's ozone. Look into the smell's origin. The room and the tape! The hallway. Be throwing the camera. We're back! Deja vu! I know I've been here before! Everything can be used. Gunpowder. Keep going. Dog. Gunpowder? What happened here? Dog? What's the dog here? Where's your owner, huh? Hey, gunpowder. Where's your owner? Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? I told you the dog was smart. Oh no. Not now. Come on. Uh. Gunpowder. Come back here! What's gone into him? He just dashed down the hall. Huh. Looks like he was lying on top of some note. Expect a note. 
It's a note. I've had it and did what I shouldn't. I know that the past of a future that never happened. I move through strange events, ephemeral facts. Truth and lies no more than an idiot's dream. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. Oops! She... she also... Ah, uh, these letters. You're giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog. Where did he go to? Dog? Gunpowder. I'm... I'm going inside. I'm going, I need to. Am I? Going inside, really? Really? I will. <laughs> I just noticed it now. And it's awful. Say it out loud. The camera carries me. Not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application. Gunpowder. I'm going in. The fuse has been smashed. Broken. At least it seems that way. What was that symbol we saw earlier we had like pulled down? Oh no. Gunpowder! Is someone behind the TV? No, it's the chicken. Walter. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Possivelmente a minha última. E com ela trago um comunicado a fazer para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, tem me assombrado desde então. Palavras não serão o bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenham mostrado. Por isso, peço que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta. E observem com atenção. That's the ending? Hey, wait a minute. Some of these are uh, locked. What's this? Two people have been reported missing. 18 has not been seen since or had a chance to speak with the mother. Do you personally believe that there is something sinister hiding in there? No, of course not. People love ghost stories, but in the end, they're just stories. Just stories. Just stories. I think it's just, uh... Drowned Lake. It's a preview for another game? So there's definitely more endings, we gotta get them. Or at least try to get something else. Do you are change again? Like, it's randomized every time? On now. Go to the light side. I think this is the way. You can get a nice tape by the window. Hmm, you're right. You have a good eye. Deja vu! Someone's been coming for a smoke. See the ashtray? Don't show me that. I haven't touched nicotine in three years. 
Come on, let's head down the corridor. The other camera doesn't malfunction. The blackout. Uh, it malfunctions something that blacks out for no reason. I think they gave me this one because I'm new. Hmm. Maybe they said don't leave the dog alone. Let's make it water. Guess I've been neglected in the last few days because you know what happened. Huh? Is that a horseshoe? Seems so. Like, for good luck. You know, Walter was superstitious. Yeah, he's a little different. Is he gonna rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Ah, oh, these roosters never get it right. Hmm. Guess we use this to take this take to set the mood. Look at this photo. Some scenery? Not very appealing scenery. Plus it's out of focus. This photo has a story behind it, I can feel it. I might ask her about it during the interview. Coffee's almost done. The blurred photo on the shelf. You have a rather peculiar picture in your living room. Ah, that was the first picture I took of the two of us. Put the camera on a tripod and set up to take our picture. Then, well, this lapwing showed up out of nowhere. We were too close to its nest. But it got fierce and attacked the camera right when it took the picture. Then it attacked us. That was the result. The portrait now of disappearing. And yours truly, the great photographer. He found it so funny we had it framed. He used to find it funny too. Gunpowder. What's been getting you through these difficult times? Gunpowder helped me through more than anything else. The dog. Of course. It's been quite sad. He knows something amiss. Mrs. Walter. He's taking care of him, he's taking my mind off of things. Yeah, I'm gonna the front door. Did Walter have any superstitions? He didn't seem to have one, but I was just a co-worker. We never get to completely know someone, right? No. Never. He wasn't religious either. So I'm gonna the front door is yours. No. Here to elaborate. No. But the weather rooster. It was a storm then, right? Yes. I mean, I remember the lightning struck nearby here. Right when? When? Look, I'm sorry. I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Miss Martins, so we have enough material already. He was so different. So nervous. And we expect him to... Okay. Are you crazy? I'm out. Whoa, 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 stop right there. I'm not letting you throw this opportunity away. Look, you don't have to watch it. Just just film me as I'm watching it. What more takes that way? You can start the tape's content in the video during editing. I feel like the music's gotten more sinister earlier. Right, let's do some room here. I feel like I can almost understand them. See, I can't. It feels like they get a tangle inside your brain. It looks like a prison. Prison, inside the cells. Are those... Are those people? They're just walking by everything. So our building this is way too long. It's one up ahead. Chard, take my hand and take a walk of the zero. Chard, who's Chard? Really heard that. Can't stand damn thing. The vibe all the time. I mean, that could be a hint on something. That's I'm turning this thing off. So we can't avoid the fate of watching the tape, at least yet. Thanks for watching those journalists die. We'll be back after these messages. 808 1010.
Was anyway one of the numbers when like we were trying to decide what floor we were gonna go to? Hey, 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 hey! You look like you've seen a ghost. I guess just some deja vu. Right. Yeah, see? The game is acknowledging what's gone down, in a way. But I'm not sure, where is the change going to be the ending? No, we're not going to take the thing off. Because it's going to rain after all. Funny. And Chris got all day. Check out this VCR. It might be expensive. I'm sure we won't have one before long. I bet on that. There. So we didn't take the horseshoe down, that might help. Do you want to show you a video of the tape? No, we're not shooting anything. We don't have a lot of time and it made her uncomfortable. Let me check the tape, maybe so we can add to the video and editing. You want to go talk to her, interview the widow, you always want to come to the interview. So she forces us out of her way. Yes, but she's busy with the tape. Of course, always the tape, I'm still interview of yours. What's in the tape? Don't know, I never watched it. What do you promise I'd never watch it? I was kind of curious before. Not anymore. What did you keep the tape? Do you know where the tape came from? No. We need to investigate this. I think he got it home. But didn't see who delivered it. Walter collected movies. Wanted to find film, recordings. I thought it was just another one. Just thinking about the girl alone in my living room. Watching that thing. It's that skin crawl. Okay, same dialogue. Tell the truth, so am I. Of course, they copy ended up being a blank, right? Got burned, I'm not sure. You see how this would entice you. It is a mystery, after all. But, don't you think that colleague of yours is getting a little strange? This where I've seen her before. Can we include the interview first? No, 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 we can't. You came here. I didn't call anybody. I have the right to ask my questions. You know, I get it. Get the moving up the ladder. Etc., etc. Really didn't cause anything positive until now. I know that better than anyone. If that's the case, wouldn't it be better to stop? Stop the inform people. Maybe, maybe it would be better. I don't have the authority to cancel the story. Do you think Walt ever waited for the authority to get things done? That colleague of yours. To see the authority to come here like this. No. Sometimes you just need to do what you feel you must do. Wish I'd pay attention to this earlier. If you really feel that, we should never should have come here. Oh yeah? You said you're interested in the tape. I don't deny it. We all know what curiosity did to the cat. We do. I don't want this story to be broadcast. Think quite plainly, drop the camera. Serious? But I can't do that. No TV damn if you can't. Just drop it. Deny her in influence. You won't do it, will you? That's fine. Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done. Then leave, please. I'm my living room back. Thank you for the interview, Miss Barnes. We need to go out a window this time. There's the lightning strike. We'll be back after our journalists die. And these messages... Eight oh eight ten ten zero zero. We went up the stairs again. Eight oh six eight sixteen. Try this one. What was that the number? Julia. Who's Julia? I seem to forget the name of what I saw. I think I've already forgotten. I think I've already recalled. 
Why don't you stay there? It's this way. Go the dog. Gunpowder. Go after gunpowder. Gunpowder. I'm going inside. Keep to yourself. No, forget. I'm only doing this to get as much footage as possible. The important ones. Gunpowder. I'm going in. Okay. I remember that. That's gunpowder. Maybe getting the same ending. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Pois, você está vendo isso? Acredito que já se tornaram os Amantes deles já se tornaram os outros. Tudo que vemos. Eu entendo o afã em buscar mais, entender mais. Mas já sabe o que aconteceu comigo por tentar fazer o mesmo. Por que seguiu esse mesmo caminho? Bom, não importa. Já chegou a verdade, telespectador. E ela tem um custo. Mas não precisamos pagar nada. Não precisamos nos submeter. Ouça. Eles não têm controle disso. Não é ainda. Desligue o vídeo. Vá embora. E não volte. Escapará por entre os dedos deles. A maior das rebeldias. Vá embora. Não volte. Só for their fingers. Ah. Oh. Well, the beginning wasn't distorted this time. Enough. The story. It was all wrong since the start. Elver would be faster. Stairs seem safer. Are you sucking me back up the stairs? to leave this place. Enough. Elvira would be faster. Let's go already. So there's no choice. Secret? What is going on? We're just going straight to the apartment. Like, I'm not controlling it. Huh. Do we just act like we played normally? 
Hello? Walter? Yes? Operator. Mr. Walter Martins. You are in possession of a VCR, correct? Yes. What do you want? I have a very special delivery for you, sir. This tape. Oh, that was an ending. Yes, that's, um... We've, we've basically just skirted everything in this game, it looks like. One thing I'd like to point out is that the, uh... The horseshoe thing... I, I guess that's not a horseshoe? That might be a, like, even you know, like the cliche Looney Tunes magnet kind of thing. So it kind of makes sense a little that, um... The entities we're dealing with are TV tech base because like they don't like the they don't like magnets like that's old school tech like it doesn't take well of magnets so the, the magnets were warding off whatever Walter was trying to avoid that's why he had it over the door so like whatever the TV entities couldn't get inside so that's it for teleform that may or may not be all endings if we go by the gallery we unlocked everything in there so that that might be all endings the the ending might be in a sense where it says like if you just shut off the tape, you can slip out of their hands, and that might be symbolism for quitting the game. There might be an aspect where, like, in you in pursuit of the truth, are you yourself stuck in the loop of the tape and, like, fighting the tape, just like these people are, possibly. Now, outside of that symbolic kind of interpretation, I really don't know what the tape is. Like, honestly. Like, obviously, it's, it's a ring kind of thing, but I don't know what makes the tape special. Like, I'm not sure if it's a case where he has to show others to be whatever it is. It could just be a weird, kind of vague horror entity that you're not supposed to quite know and figure out. It's just kind of creepy. And the game was actually very creepy. Like, there was some legitimately pretty creepy spots and some good atmosphere. But if you were to ask me, like, what the story is, I cannot really tell you at all. This is one of the few games that has to be actually pretty damn stumped. So that's why I'm saying, like, maybe it has more to do with the One Piece is the Journey kind of thing, where... The tape locks people in because they always have to pursue the tape and find out the truth of the tape. And you, the player, are doing the same. Because you're, you're essentially watching a tape footage of a tape footage. So possibly that's my take on it. But yeah, like I said, it was creepy. It had some good atmosphere. I, I did like it. Anyway, so if you go watch it play Teleform, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.